thanks Jonas. I'm a first year graduate student in Songs Lab and today I'm gonna give you a tour of our offices, our lab space and just give you a short introduction to our lab in general. So let's walk into our office. So this is our general office space. Our offices are set up for four people. You have your chairs and basically every student is assigned one of the personal spaces where you can store your personal items, your pictures, um, books, but also set up uh, your display or whatever you need to do your work in the office. Right next to the office, you have the lab space, which is really convenient so that you can set up your reactions, get back to the office and try to get back to lab. So let's have a look. So our lab is structured into four quadrants, which are basically similar to all uh, to this quadrant here. Every quadrant has their own fridge, own solvents. We have our rotovabs with a chiller. And every lab has um, five fumes. One fume is on the side, and four other fume are on that space. So each of our, of our humans is very big. We have a six foot humans space. Every student has their own bench area where you can put your own chemicals, samples, and just stuff you need. You can personalize all of your lab space however you want. And some of us choose to put up funny drawings or whatever. <laughs> um, here you can see one of our equipments, our computers and a trying oven. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and um, continue walking through our space. Every quadrant has their own scaling weighing area with essential chemicals, which you will need in everyday lab life, as well as some specialized chemicals used for your own chemistry. Here we have another example of a student setup. You have the bench area, as you see, it's set up in a very different way than um, Ifan's setup, so this is Justin's setup. And uh, you, everybody can personalize their own space. For example, Justin has put up his uh, own uh, music box here to play music during lab. And let's take a closer look at the few modes. So each few mode in our lab has our own Schlenks line. Every few mode has a schlank line with in-house nitrogen system, has their own vacuum pump, and a lot of humid space to set up as many reactions as you want. Here, you see our, some of our more specialized setup. I show, uh, I've set up one uh, electrochemistry setup for you from Ica Electrosim, which is basically a pre-designed setup where you can just put in your reactants, put in electrodes, and try to start up a new experiment. On the other side, you have our personalized setup with chillers so that you can uh, control the temperature and uh, set up your own reaction systems. In uh, cell designs, you can choose yourself. So now let's show you some of the new lab space we have, you as a prospect, which you as a prospective student could occupy. So first, that's some of our new lab space. As you see, it's still very empty and basically gives you a lot of opportunity to personalize it however you want. So let's go ahead and show you one of the few ones you might be working at in the next upcoming years. So as you see, everything in this few mode, even though it's already been used, is very new and shiny. You get a really new schlank line. You will get a, get a really clean bench. And a whole lot of space to work with and do your own chemistry. So I, I want to show you another piece of equipment which is stored in this area. Our lab as an electrochemistry lab has two potential stats. 
So potential stats are used for recording CVs or for doing controlled potential electrolysis. They're really convenient to use and connected to a computer, which is also just confined to this unit, which you can mobilely roll around to your own field module. So this is a new office area you will be having. Right next to the lab you might be working in. And as you see, there's much, many, uh, much space to book, uh, put up your own books, to put up your own laptop, and just to go ahead and get started with doing your own research in our lab. So now we are going to go into the other side of the lab. Before I showed you that side of the lab, this time I'm going to show you the old lab space which we started in four years ago when Song started as a new assistant professor. So let's see the historic lab space. <laughs> well, as you see, you also have the general office setup, and you can even see how people brainstorm their ideas and just put stuff on the windows and talk about chemistry together. You might find a lot of our old ideas on this window and some of our reactions might have been developed right there. But let's go ahead and get started in our old lab space and show you some of our actually newer equipment. So right next to the door, you'll find a biotouch, which you can use to run. Right next to the door, you can find our biotouch, which you can use for running automated columns. Some person still has a column set up here and You'll just run your columns, walk away, do other chemistry, set up new experiments, and let the machine do the isolation of the compound for you. So let's go ahead and show you our glove box and our solvent system. So here you see a slab space set up in a very different fashion or similar setup, but different fashion. You see our storage of our, um, our daily supplies, such as syringes, needles, septa, um, vials, and that kind of stuff. And let's go ahead... What's oh. the blue stuff? The blue stuff? Oh yeah, so that's actually my fume hood space. That's my fume hood, that's my bench. And I set up two little... Oh. I set up two setups for you guys. So I want to really want to show you one normal electrochemistry setup and one of the electrophotochemistry setups, which you can see by the blue light. But first, let's go ahead and show you the simple setup. So the most simple setup consists of a potential star or galvanostar, you see there, you can dial in a current, then starts the current, or dial in the voltage. And the whole thing is connected to a cathode and an anode, and you just set it up and electrolyze it. It's really simple to set up and easy to get started doing chemistry. A little bit more difficult to set up, you have our photoelectrochemistry setup, consisting of a divided cell, consisting of a divided cell and two blue lights for the photochemistry part in the photoelectrochemistry. So here you see our plug box. It's a nitrogen plug box equipped um, with the typical uh, amenities of the plug box. I'll turn the light on for you so that you get a better view into the plug box, how it is set up, and how basically every lab member uses it to do some parts of their chemistry. So here you see our solvent system, which runs with argon, and we have our typical solvent that you will use during everyday chemistry, such as THF, ether, uh, methylene chloride, toluene, azetonitrile, and DMF. So the next room I want to show you is our room with our HPLCs, and hopefully soon a UHPLCMS. And come in. Okay, 
So here you see our chiral unit HPLC from Shimatsu. Um, yeah, so it runs with hexane and isopropanol, but you can also set up uh, um, gradients using acetonitrile water and basically customize and screen columns according to your own needs. We also have a UHPLC MS coming in soon. So once you will be here, the so MS will also be here. So let's take a look at our, our current chemicals. We have a really extensive library of a lot of different compounds which you might use in your own synthesis. But whenever you need, you will be also able to order any commercial chemicals basically you can find. So let's take a look. Our chemical system is ordered by carbon number. And as you see, we have a huge library of different compounds. But what I really like about the Cornell chemistry department is that we have an interconnected system of chemicals. So we have a software where you can find your chemicals online just by CAS number and then look if anybody in the department has it. And if anybody in the department has it, you can just go and borrow the chemical and just like that, you have got your chemicals immediately and can start your experiments right away. 